the free because of the brave. So guys, I get a cup of coffee here, get loaded up. We do have a really, <clears throat> really good chance that some rain's moving in. guys so load it up about to unload again they said nine o'clock give me one second they said nine o'clock So I was holding out hope that it was going to pass us by. Well, it's not going to pass us by. We have not had a legitimate rain here whatsoever in well over a month. So this is truly, we'll take it. We'll take it. Don't mind TQ's tactical flip flops, we call them. She wasn't prepared for this. We're all sitting there sipping coffee. It's like 7.40 in the morning. Uh, update on the old uh, infection slash cyst thing. Swelling has went down some. Uh, it kind of swells up, goes away a little bit. Swells up, goes away. Uh, we're still continuing to treat it. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Keep putting antibiotics, warm presses on it. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we get into now. But thank God, thank you, Lord, for this rain. This is truly a blessing. Well, I got the mowers put back away. The backpacks and trimmers are going to have to fend for themselves. But back to drinking another cup of coffee. And this is a good rain. This is one of those ones, you know, it's not coming down too fast. I mean, I see a little bit of ground runnage, like where it's just running across the ground. But it looks like a lot of this is soaking in. And that's what we need, a good deep soaking. And, uh, yeah, that will help us at least for a couple weeks. But we got a few more chances this week as well for some rain. But as of right now, still not going to be any real mowing this week. But we got a lot to get done. I wasn't planning on working today. I got to go see a specialist for this thing. And, uh, well, I got to wait for them to call me back to see if they can get me in today. They're trying to rush me in. And then, uh, yeah, go from there. So, TQ's sunflower is looking really pretty. So officially, good morning guys. How are you doing on this beautiful rainy Tuesday? It is beautiful. I love seeing the rain. We need more. Yes, we do. It's already starting to dry up. It hasn't rained in probably about an hour. It's currently about 11. And we were just sitting around the house drinking coffee and not really getting much done. <laughs> and TQ's got poison ivy, so she's like, hey, let me go get some uh, stuff from a poison ivy. And I'm like, hey, while we're up there, Let's uh, hit up the old Bob's Furniture, see if they got any of those desks we want to get for the office. Because pretty much everything right now, guys, if it's something like higher end, I guess you could say, you have to order it. But we've never been in here, so we're going to see about these desks. But if not, we'll at least get them ordered so they'll be in once the office is closer to completion. But if we can take them today as well, we'll do that. So, Bob's Furniture. I mean, I don't think we're that bougie, babe, but 
kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so we just went ahead and looked around real quick. The place is really, really nice here in Jackson Township, but they don't carry stand-up desks, so we're going to move on. So we just walked a few more stores down here. It's kind of like a big plaza if you're not in the area or know what we're looking at. So I'm going to run into Office Max. We know they carry them. Alrighty, so all kinds of different desks here, chairs, etc. These are them here though. These are the lift desk. So you can sit at your desk if you want to, or like I choose to, I prefer to stand, drink my coffee, work on my computer, etc. So And you can stop it wherever you want. You don't have to run it all the way up. Tiki, you can get it to her height, which she's six foot seven. <laughs> they have these nice mats too that you can put down right in front. So, For standing? So your feet don't hurt. Yeah, we don't need all that. <laughs> this ain't no uh, Wendy's. I remember when I worked there as a teenager, I was 14 years old. One of my first jobs I ever had Wendy's. They made a stand on these rubber mats. And I'll tell you what, they make a difference. Yeah, they do. We so, had them whenever I worked at the pet store too. Oh really? Yeah. So this one's kind of got like a little cove in it. Looks like it has a wireless charger. That's kind of nice too. Ooh, Maybe for the computer or something. This tells you the height. Nice. And I think you can program. 630 on so still. This one moves pretty nice. Yeah. This one's manual. Oh snap. So that one there, that's kind of cool. You just uh, pull it and lift it. It's nice. Did you try that one? This one? Yeah, pull the little hand on her knee. <laughs> just did the same thing. <laughs> oh. All right, so then you have your standard desk. This one's cool looking, just not for the size we need, just our room. You guys know where our new office is gonna be. It's small, it's unique, you know? So I do like that with this like- This is neat. Yeah, has the two monitors and stuff. All right, we'll bring you back if you decide to pick any of these up. We're gonna look around. All right guys, so they have both of these in white. They're checking right now to see if they would have to order them or not for us. But while we're waiting, we're gonna have a race, and this is gonna decide which one we pick. I think. What do you think? Is that gonna decide, or are you gonna pick a different one anyway? We're both kind of leaning towards this one. Yeah. Ready? Set. Go. So we're gonna go all the way up, and then all the way back down, and see who wins. I feel like you're moving way quicker. Who's this All right, so we were pretty much sold on this one and then talking with the associate, you know, this is like a pressed wood versus this one's like a plastic, like, I don't know, polymer or something. I'm not real sure. And he said from what he's heard, yes, this one does cost a little more, but the tops last way longer and are more durable compared to this. He's like, look, man, he's like, if you chip it, anything, bump the corner, anything he's like it's going to show that he's like if you're going to be moving a lot of stuff which we are in this area with our merch and everything uh we want something a little more industrial and this from what he said is a little bit more stronger build and i mean it's really much pretty much the same this one you get a little more desktop space but we both feel this one's more comfortable to standing at as well All right, guys, 
Texas, so we had to order regardless, so it didn't matter. But cool thing is, is with the 4th of July sale event they got going on, we got it discounted, and we're getting free shipping sent straight to the house. So, yeah, we got to wait a couple weeks, which is fine, because construction is still going to be going on still then. Uh, so I don't even got to haul it. All right, so now on to a way bigger task, and that is choosing a light or ceiling fan for the office room. And yeah, it's kind of a hard decision. Just too many choices. So we should only get to choose between like four. And everything. <laughs> All right. So we're like, do we want a long one? Do we want a round one? Like some of these are made more for like above like a kitchen table versus an office. Uh, I think that wavy one's unique with the three different wavy things. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. I just don't know if that fits really our style house. That's like super... It's cool though. I won't say no. I like that. It's kind of cool. What about that one there? The round one? Yeah. She's talking about that one right there. It's kind of cool looking. That one's cool too. The round like globe thing. There's just too much here, man. You can't take it all in. There's like they're like stacked behind one another, like. And it's hard to tell how it's gonna light up the room because there's so many, so many other options around it. Right. Too, so. Floors are dark. I want to keep the rest of the room light. So I want it to be a room that has good sunlight, which will get through the back door, and I want it to be somewhere that we can get work done and feel good about it. So light colors, white, light gray, something like that. I, I'm, I'm looking towards that one there. Let's go clo closer and take a look. So much. We'll be back. It's new also. It looks new, huh? Yeah, all you gotta do is slap a sticker on a 17 year old product and it's new. Pretty sure I saw some of those in a few 1930 horror films. All right, I told TQ I'm gonna put a chandelier up. She said absolutely not. I thought that one was kind of unique though. I'm trying to remember office. Also trying to remember reselling it. You know, somebody probably won't use that room as an office. Who knows? Yeah. But it'd still be a good sitting room and coffee drinking room. Yeah, that's but, why we probably shouldn't rule out fans. Take a look well, at we'll take a look at those for sure, yeah. Yeah. Can I get a big A fan? If you guys sure. don't know, there's a big A fan company. <laughs> One of their propellers wouldn't fit in that room. No, it Do they call them propeller? propellers? I don't know. You guys will always correct me. Mm -hmm. We'll let you know what we discover. We gotta hurry up though. Miley has a hitting lesson here in a little bit. Not her typical day, but Steve got her in, so. All right, so we couldn't decide on a light, but I did almost get into the wrong white SUV, so that was fun. What was fun? Trying to choose a light. <laughs> it is very hard. Yeah, we're gonna wait on that one for a minute. We yeah, got a little time. Yeah, we have time. a little time. Yeah. Well guys, something you don't foresee in life. I was coming around a corner and ran a deer over with the truck, and I, uh, yeah. So it's it's gone. It was just a small one. Hit it with the front end uh, passenger side with the new one here. Didn't cause any damage. There's some stuff on the truck, you know. I got to run back home real quick though because I'm covered in deer blood. And this is part of living out in the country. The deer will, the little ones will just jump right out of the weeds right in front of you, and that's what happened. There was two of them. The first one I missed. The second one I got. And uh, just so happened the neighbor was driving up behind me. And uh, he helped me with it real quick. We went ahead and took care of it, but freaked Miley out, taking her to training. You're all upset, aren't you? It was her first experience ever hitting one. This is my third hitting one. Uh, it's not what we like, but it happens. It's life, so I gotta run back home here real quick and wash my hands up. All right, ran home real quick, washed off. That's all it did. It hit right about in here. Looks like it deficit whatever you defecated on my truck maybe i think mud something i don't know i gotta get her to training now all right guys so we got here to miley's training 
Steve's her hitting coach. This guy is world renowned, known. Steve Gambo is his name. And uh, yeah, a little bit late. Appreciate him still getting her in. Just uh, to be competitive, man, you got to put in the work. And it's no joke. But got her here. I'm going to work on some emails real quick. The nice thing is, you can do that while she does this for an hour. <laughs> Alright, so I just got a call, which this actually worked out really well, that uh, the few other things that I ordered from Linex a couple weeks ago there uh, came in, and they're just literally right around the corner here. So I'm like, hey, could you happen to get me in real quick? Because it's just like little plug-and-play things, little bolt-on things, and he's like, yeah, come on in. So this worked out phenomenal. 35 seconds later, pulling in here to Linex. Oh, it feels so good to be seeing puddles on the roadway here. All right, guys. Now she's in the simulator. This is only 55 right now. Typically, she'll do 60. But uh, today's a game day, so we bring the speed down. Well, her coach brings the speed down a little bit, so... Beat that one in the ground almost off your foot. Drive it. I think you guys can hit 55. Let's see it. Oh, it's empty. Do you have any more? Yeah, I have to hit 45. Oh, you gotta go down to 45? Did you do 60 today? No, I'm not allowed. You're not allowed? I hit 55 and 50. Now we're back to 55 and I'm not Okay. Whoa. So everything gets changed up on game day uh, just because like the rec ball days and the travel ball days are two totally different like uh, I, I don't want to say competitive level but like pitching speeds so it's it just it's hard to make those adjustments sometimes the pitch is lower 45 she'll move to each plate and dude it, it messes with them pretty hardcore because as a hitter, you, it's all about timing, and you just, you know, you get aggressive, and boy, it can get real tricky. This, this back one will get her. Watch. See if it gets her. Right now, she's starting to get sore. She's been doing this for almost an hour straight. So she goes from hitting coach, and then in here, and she'll do, I don't even know how many balls. Ooh, she waited on that one. Woo. I thought that one was going to get her. hitting lessons over just got to clean up our mess real fast and then we're gonna get over here and we're gonna get that new hitch installed on the truck all right guys so the hitch came in I'll show you what else I had put on the truck as well and uh, this is the B&W trailer hitch it's a tow and stow they called a dust adjustable ball mount so you can basically hide it away. Show you exactly what comes in it. So I know I told you guys that I went with the five. I actually went with the seven. I called back and later on that day I changed it up. Might see a problem here off the rip though. I'll have to check my storage. I don't have a main lock. 
I was kind of hoping it came with one, but I guess not. So, anyways, this is the concept of it. Let me uh, let me see if I got a lock, because you don't want anybody to steal this thing. So, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I thought I had another lock in there. I know I have one. I just I can't find it. It's not a big deal. I'll pick another one up. But I can give you the general concept of this if you don't know. Some of you may know, but some of you might. So it'll go in here. Uh, let me see. Right there's where it'll normally be. And then what you do is you pull these two here. So now basically my tri ball is hanging here free. So I can bring it all the way down, swing it around, and then bring it back up. Okay? And then all I gotta do is reinsert these pins wherever I want it. So I can have it here if I want. I could bring it all the way up here if I want. You guys get the concept. But the nice thing about this is say I want to go through the car wash. Our car washes in our area, they might not be the same anywhere, but the drive through car washes, they won't allow you to have your ball hitch on like this. But if you do do this, bring it down, swing it around, bring it up and hide it away, they actually like this a lot. So really nice and convenient. You're not taking your main lock off every single time, storing it in the bed. You can just simply do this and you're good to go. Hi, TQ. Hi. Check out the WeatherTech wind guards here. Aren't they pretty fancy? They are fancy. We got all four of them all the way around. Yeah, just not the front ones this time. What? <laughs> Remember last time I ordered them, they only put the front ones on. Yeah. So. We got all of them now. Those are on. Can't put the windows down for like a day or so. Yeah. No car washes. I was actually going to wash it after the whole uh, deer incident. I wasn't with you, but what happened? So it had a little thingy on our oh, car. Man. Yeah. But no damage, right? Not that I see, but I figure I'll be able to really tell once I uh, wash it, whether there's a dent in a bumper or anything, but I don't see anything. Yeah. Even the other guy that stopped, he didn't see anything. So I was like, hey, it went quick though. So Riley that... did text me and say, daddy hit a baby deer. Yeah. <laughs> It was pretty traumatizing for a second four. I bet. Anyways, guys, TQ already carried in the house. Oh, I guess you guys know we use Scott toilet paper now. That's sponsored. And we use Bounty. That's sponsored as well. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so happened to catch us in our moment. Uh, TQ went ahead and picked up another piece, uh, another box of the flooring for the office. And before I caught her, she had already carried in the ceiling fan yeah. uh, for the office. So I'll show you that as soon as I get inside. Why didn't you just take it in the office? Well, because everything would have had to been brought out anyways, because... Don't tell them that, though, Tiki. They shouldn't know that. Okay. Yet. Baby steps. <laughs> Baby steps. 